Hey, Darren Towers here with the North Texas 750 stall, and I have made my own uh, cable tension gauge. So, uh, this is taken from the idea in Kit Planes magazine from a few months ago about building your own with a, so a Harbor Freight dial indicator. I've got a McMaster car spring there. I've got some ball bearings that it's been, that it's rotating on. So right now, I measured out on my scales 30 pounds of water. I've done 30, 25, and uh, I'm gonna go up to. I guess I'll go up to 40 just to see what we get on the dial indicator at 40. But anyway, so that's 30. Uh, 30 pounds of water uh, with a, and also included the hanging weight of the, uh, the vice grips. Those were almost a pound. And so, you know, hung it, suspended it. So that's 30 pounds of pull, and 30 pounds of pull equals that on the gauge. So that's like uh, 50. Wait, let's see. I need my glasses on because I can't see it. Oh, yeah. Uh, Right at about well actually my gauge zeroes out over here so we're about 55 thousandths yeah about 55 thousandths of uh, travel that the spring pushes the the uh, cable back so anyway that's all this is all 3d printed so I took the plans from uh, kit planes and that they had, and just modified it a bit for 3D printing. Uh, I think I was able to build the, the little bearing roller thing here a little bit better because I was able to offset it. Anyway, I'll have, probably have that as an STL so anybody else can do it. You know, I saved like 180 bucks to do it this way. Anyway, bye for now. Okay, so this is 20 pounds. So that's the 20 pound mark. That was 30. So you know, somewhere in between is our our 25 pound mark that they're wanting. So I'm going to set it to 25 pounds. Put the dial indicator on that, and kind of just set it at that.